Hi guys, again. So three videos in one day. Um, this one is actually a book and movie review. Um, just because the movie is actually coming to DVD in, I think it was today, the 20th. So, I can't tell you exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was today, the 20th. But if not, then it comes out soon to DVD. You can already get it on Amazon and iTunes. Because I actually got the movie this weekend and I watched it five or six times and um the movie and the book is the vampire academy books from rachel mick i got the movie because i had read the book before and i was like oh, i want to see so i wanted to see it when it came out and unfortunately their publishing their advertising scheme and everything didn't work out to where it got as much attention that it should um but i followed i wanted to see it and they actually didn't play it anywhere around here that i could find so it came out at the same time as the Lego movie did. And unfortunately I don't think they're going to be able to get renewed for the second book. Which sucks because the director and writer for the book or movie did a very, very good job with keeping close to the book. Um, as you know with this book it follows Rose and Melissa. That's what I love about the movie is that I can actually say the names in this one because they are hard um, to say. Um, see... With this one thing with the movie is that they contradicted because in the the very back of the book states very clearly after two years of freedom, um, they have to go back to the school and in the movie it's only one year that they've been away. And there's also a part with Dimitri in the book that he was talking to Rose and they were talking about his father and he sent his father away when he was 13 in the book but 10 in the movie. I'm... Those are some details that I'm just like, why did you have to change those? Those had no play on the movie whatsoever. You didn't have to actually show backstory for those. But I guess they'll do what they want to because they get paid to. Um, but it did fall really, really closely with the book. And the writer for the movie actually took quotes, or actually took the sayings of some of the, pe of the characters from the book and put it in the movie. Which I liked because I remembered reading the book and I was like, they actually said that. And it's not like the Twilight book where you're just like, what is this? Because with the Twilight book, that's why I read the, the movie. With the movie, that's why I read the book. That and my sister told me I couldn't. So I was like, I'm going to do it anyway. But with this Vampire Academy, um, I did. I liked it a lot. Um... The actual names of the character are this one on the book cover, I think, is supposed to be Rose, Rosemary Hathaway. So she just goes by Rose. And then the princess of the story is Vasilisa Dragomir, which had it not been for the movie, I would not be able to say those. So, and so I'm glad I could say it in my head, just not out loud. Um, but you got the Moroi. Dampier and then the Strigoi. Just three groups of vampire ish. You got two vampire groups and then one that's half vampire. Um, the Morori are the good vampires so that they don't. They do drink blood but they don't kill their victims. Um, they have volunteer feeders come in and then they use them for a year or longer if the feeder decides. Um, so you have that. And then the Dampier. <laughs> the Dampier are um, the vampire human halves. Um, they are the guardians of the Moroi. Um, they do all their fighting training. They do all that stuff. And the Strigoi are the evil vampires that have killed and then turned that. You have some that have turned on their own. First turn. Turned accidentally. Something like that. Um, with this... And, and watching the movie. I read, I watched the movie a couple times and then I read, read the book again. And then I watched the movie some more. Um, it follows really closely, which is one thing that I actually really, really enjoyed. Uh, there are a few things where you're just like, why? And then some of the other, like the two year and the 13. Why? I don't know why they changed that. Because beginning of the thing is they've been gone for two years. I get, I just don't understand that one. But to each their own for them but they did do a really really good job and um from the actual writer he already started working on frostbite which is the second book in the series it's a six book series so you've got all those um but 
with the he's already started working on the play or the screen play for the second book and they're hoping that they can get renewed but it doesn't look like they will because of the campaign for um actually promoting it it didn't work out too well so because like I said it didn't even play anywhere around here and usually the one movie theater that I have that I usually go to usually plays about anything that we have it even played an alien movie but that's because the alien movie took place here and but so it usually plays a lot of the stuff like it played the beautiful creatures book and everything else I just it's one thing that sucked about this is I don't think the campaign did right because it could have had a bigger following and now after people's actually now they're getting able to get the DVDs and everything else so that people are going to actually like to watch it and buy it and everything else because like I said it didn't play in a lot of theaters around from where I'm at and like I looked for it like the weekend it came out and I couldn't find it anywhere around my town <laughs> sorry I was being stared at by my dog but um, in this you follow Lisa, Lisa and Rose um, they go to the Vampire Academy which is called St. Val Vladimir's Academy um, on the back it actually says um, on the back I'll actually read that to you it says only a true friend can protect you from your immortal enemies Lissa Dragomir is a Moroi princess, a mortal vampire with a rare gift for harnessing the earth, earth's magic. She must protect it at all times. She must be protected at all times from the Strigoi, the fiercest vampires, the ones who never die. The powerful blend of human and vampire blood that flows through Rose Hathaway, Lissa's best friend, makes her a dampier. Rose is dedicated to a dangerous life of protecting Lissa from the Strigoi, who are hellbent on making Lissa one of them. And then it goes, that was the red part, and then it goes down here to the white part. It says, after two years of freedom, Rose and Lissa are caught and dragged back to St. St. Vladimir's Academy, a school for vampire royalty and their guardians-to-be, hidden in the deep forest, full, fullest of Montana. <laughs> but inside the Iron Gate, life is more fraught and dangerous, and the Strigoi are always close by. Rose and Lissa must navigate dangerous worlds, confront... The temptations of forbidden love and never once let their guard down. At least the evil undead make Lissa one of them forever. Um, and then down here, right before the other books in the series, it's got red cursive letters which say, Love and loyalty run deeper than blood. Um, to start off the book, um, which is seriously within the first couple of pages, because and in the movie, is that you have Rose waking up Lissa because she's having a nightmare. Um... It's because two years ago, in the book and in the movie, Lissa's parents and her brother and her and Rose were all in a car, car crash. Lissa's parents and brother all died, so all three of them died. And her and Rose were the only two survivors out of the crash. Um, they said from the book, or from the movie and everything else, that Rose shouldn't have survived, or Lissa. In the book... Lissa was the only one in the safe position, in the safe position in the car. And then the other one, Rose, they shouldn't have made it through. Um, in this, the vampire, the Moroi, are magical. Um, they, when they turn to Strigoi, they lose everything. Um, all the magic and everything because they're dead. Um, but the Moroi have elemental magic, like air, earth, fire, and water. Um, but Lissa has spirit, so she can kind of control all of them, which is the same thing that St. Saint Saint Vladimir had, which you find all that out in this first book. Now, I'm going to put a tag at the beginning of this, maybe, sorry. Okay, from here on out, there's going to be some spoilers, and I'm sorry, but, I uh, can't help it, but Lissa's got a spirit magic which is a good and bad thing because she can heal people and animals and all this other stuff but it also takes a physical toll on her and makes her go crazy was it had it not blah, blah, blah. if not for rose she would go crazier um lissa and rose share a special bond where rose can actually be pulled into lissa's mind and see and feel and everything 
that Liz is going through. Um, so that's their bond. Um, Rose can always tell what Liz is feeling and how what's going on and everything else. And St. Vladimir also had the same kind of guardianship with Anna, which you learn about her in the book somewhat. There's not much about Anna and Vladimir because in the book and the movie they're all looking for stuff and they can't seem to find too much about it. Um, and this book is like most high schools. You have drama. You have someone that doesn't want some. They don't want them back. Um, Mia Rinaldi is uh, another person in the movie, and she plays a big part in the movie and in the book. Um, she causes a lot of drama between Rose and Lisa, and Lisa and Rose and everybody else. Um, so, yeah. All in all, they're both very, very good. Like I've said, I've watched the movie quite a few times. Um, on iTunes, you can get the high-definition version for $16. That's with tax and everything, which is what I actually paid for it. And since, since I've watched it five or six times, five to ten times, depending, I've got my money's worth out of it. And the book runs about eight ninety nine, And so I'm pretty sure they're going to re-release the book in Walmart and have the video or DVD because Walmart did do some of the pub the publicizing of the book, so you've got that. Um, like I said, one good thing is that it did follow very closely with the book, and it took some of the quotes from the mo book and put them in the movie. That's what I loved about watching it, and I was like, this is really, really good. So going between the book and the movie is not that bad. You don't have that big gap of stuff where you're just like, why the heck? Some of it it is. But most of it is like understandable stuff where you can't have all the stuff like it would be too much to actually do. And some of the stuff actually they did do because if you find the other um, behind the scenes stuff for the movie on YouTube, which is what I did after I watched the movie a couple times and read the book because um, I wanted to see some bloopers and stuff because I love bloopers. I just love them. Um, you can see that they did shoot other stuff that didn't make it into the movie and so you're like oh okay and all this other stuff so with this oh Melissa uses compulsion a lot on other people which also makes her go a little crazy so you find out more of Lissa's and Rose's um bond and friendship and everything else throughout the rest of the books in the movie or the series and I'm really hoping that they can get the okay to go for the second book because as they followed so closely with the first one, I really think they would do a good job on the second one. And the writer for the film, he's already got some Adrian-esque quotes and everything. Adrian lines and everything. So, the actors for the movie, which are Zoe, Deutsch, Dutch, um, Lucy Fry, and um, I can't remember Christian's name. But there's stuff on YouTube with the, all their stuff. Like, they did an interview with Young Hollywood. And they are talking about everything that they did. Um, so, yeah. Again, five stars. Movie, five stars. Um, I did, like I said, with the Twilight thing. This isn't like Twilight. You have your high school drama. But in the opening credits, when they're getting taken back to St. Vladimir's Academy, they, you hear Rose over thoughts throughout the thing and she's like these are vampires these aren't the sparkly kind and so it's really funny um it makes you laugh it kind of draws you in and you're just like wow I spent two hours watching a movie and I didn't realize it was two hours um so again really really like this one really like the books the series and I really like the movie so I'm really hoping that they can get the okay to go on with the second one but I don't, I don't see it happening because they only made, I think it was 4.4 million with their opening weekend. So they didn't make that much. So I really want to make another one because they did so good with the first one. So here's hoping and five stars again. Five stars for the book of the Vampire Academy. Like Rachel Mead did really good with these. Um, so... I don't know. I just like it so much. So, and then you've got the other three, three more books on the back, and then two more after that. 
say because this is the first one. They got the next three, and then there's two more because it's a six book series. So with that, I give it five stars, thumbs up, and everything else that movie critics would give a good review. Um, I know on the movie it only had a ten percent on Rotten Tomatoes, but I think true fans of the actual book and everything will enjoy it a whole lot more because it follows so closely. And with that, I bid you adieu. Goodbye.